What's up guys, it's D bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I'll be installing the spool performance ethanol analyzer on my F90 M5. Um, it was the only ethanol analyzer kit I was able to find for the F90. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right guys, so step one is to remove the trunk cover and to unplug your negative terminal on the battery. Um, we don't want any chances of fuel being forced out of the car. Um, fuel is still going to come out while we're doing this install, but we want to minimize the amount of it. So right here we have the spool analyzer kit. So right here in this little packaging, spool performance ethanol analyzer. Um, this is the sensor and the part we're going to tap into the fuel lines. And then we got two fuel lines we're going to change out right here. So we're going to go ahead and remove the first fuel line. I'm going to grab me a couple of shop towels. All right, so if you're looking right here, you'll see that there's a little clamp. I'm going to remove that clamp. All right, taking off the clamp. Fuel is going to come out at this point. Wasn't that bad. Just love the smell of gas. Let me move this out of my way. All right. So, as you can see, got some gas on there. All right, so the second part has the same kind of connection. Another clip. I'm gonna have to move some stuff out of the way real fast. Alright guys, so what I ended up doing was taking the DMEs out the way. It didn't say to do that in the instructions, but I needed a little more space. If you look down here, there's the other end of that same fuel line that we're on right here. You trace it down there. It's a little clip just like this one. I went ahead and already took off the clip. Now let me go ahead and remove this line as well. You can expect gas to be in this one too. Got it out there. All right, so I removed the OEM one right here. Go ahead and set that to the side. All right guys, so I did a little work off of camera because I had to figure out how I wanted to route this thing. So basically what I did is I routed it from here, ran it through there, broke this cover in the process. We're not gonna talk about that. And then there's the sensor right there. And then I rounded the other fuel line, this one right here, under the air box for my inventory air intake. Like, so it comes up from under it into there. So then I just got to route the actual module, which I'm going to mount right in this general location and run the wire to the other side to get power to it. So let's go ahead and knock that out. All right guys, so I got it all buttoned up right now. Um, I'm about to turn on the ignition. I'm about to connect the battery and turn on the ignition, make sure I don't have any fuel leaks before actually starting the car. And then we'll see how that works. Future Demario stepping in real fast. So I did decide to um, route my ethanol analyzer and fuel lines a different way. After helping Wester Forte install his, he did give me an excellent idea of where we should route ours on our cars. So this is how I decided to route it as well because it does look more OEM like and you can't really tell there's an ethanol analyzer there until you actually look very deep into the engine bay. And if you're doing that, you need to get from under my hood. So let's go ahead and look at it. All right guys, so as you can see, we ran both fuel lines under this compartment over here. With the cover on for this compartment, you can't see the fuel lines or the analyzer. Um, and to me, that looks pretty much OEM. Um, until you look very deep into the engine bay and then you'll see the longer fuel lines and whatnot. With me placing them over here, 
I did end up moving the Bluetooth part to the other side of the engine bay, basically under the same cover, but on the other side. And it's been working pretty well for me. I haven't had any issues out of it. And I think this is where it should go. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you guys how to get the Spool Ethanol Analyzer app on your phone once you install the kit. Basically, what you're going to do is go to your Apple Store or your Google Play Store, and you're going to go to Spool. So we're going to search Spool. I've already downloaded it before, so it's giving me the cloud thing, but you're going to hit the app. It's Spool Ethanol Analyzer. You're going to hit download. Once you download it, it is pretty quick, pretty, uh, it gets the fuel mix very quickly, as you will see once I open the app. So I'm going to hit open. It's going to say once you use your Bluetooth, and of course you have to hit yes, because it is a Bluetooth analyzer that you are using. And then once it connects, it will show your e-content. So my e-content right now is uh, E13. I'm currently sitting on my 93 uh, Octane uh, tune. So your e-content should be anywhere between E10 and E15, depending on where you're getting your gas from, and any amount of leftover ethanol that you have in your fuel. This is very beneficial once you're switching over to E30 or E40 tune to make sure that you have the right amount of ethanol in your uh, fuel. And that way your car runs top performance. This is how I installed the ethanol analyzer kit from Spool on my F90 M5 and this is the app. If you guys enjoyed this video definitely leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next video.